Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at semicolons in Python and at first that might sound quite strange because we've never looked at using any semicolons in Python. But it turns out semicolons are the hide and seek champion since 1958. And that's because in other languages semicolons are very common and in others they even required. But in Python there aren't any. So here we're just asking the user for their age and saying if the age is more than 18 we print you're an adult and otherwise we print you're a child. So very simple code. If we look at this in JavaScript, however, you can see that there are semicolons at the end of each line. And these aren't actually required, but you can still put them in. And here is the same code, there are only a few differences. However, in Java, if you don't put the semicolons in, then the code won't work. And again, this code does the same thing, but this time with lots of semicolons. Although they're not at the end of every line, however, if you just put in extra ones, it doesn't make a difference. And then C++, again, more semicolons, and they are required again. So I wondered, you know, why is this? And it reminded me of uh, this. So if you run this command, what you're doing is you're importing NumPy and checking the version. And so if I copy it and run it here, you can see it prints 1.2.0.2. And of course, if I run it here, it will do exactly the same thing. But then I wanted to you know what the minus C flag does means execute this as though you've typed Python and then you're running this code. So basically use this as, as the code instead of a file. So I wondered, what if you do this? And it turns out with the semicolon here, the code works. And in fact, if we print the version just with a semicolon at the end, even though the, the editor is saying, you know, you shouldn't do this, it's gone red, it works. And this is quite strange. So if we look at the actual documentation, it turns out that you can use semicolons. So we have our if statement. It's actually if statement and then sweet. And there are a few others, and like you can have elifs and elses. But if we just have a simple if statement with a sweet, then our sweet can be a list of statements which can be some simple statements and then a new line so that means what we can have is we can have if something semicolon something else semicolon something else and so on or we can just have the single uh, line or we can have a new line beforehand and then we indent everything afterwards and we have a number of these statements which can be statement lists so these or compound statements which are these and it's recursive and then we have our dend. so if we actually look what that means with some code so this is an if state a for loop and an if statement so we've got for indent if statement then we've got a simple statement and then we've got an elif with another simple statement and an else with another simple statement and this is all one statement and obviously you can see if we run it, it just prints negative, negative, negative five times, then zero, then positive four times. But we can actually change it so that this, this now uh, is on the same line because this statement could either be a series of new lines or a single one. However, if we try putting two colons or two uh, compound statements on the same line, you see we get this invalid syntax error. So here we have a, another example where we're just printing out some factorials. So we take the number, we multiply it by i, and then we print it. And you can see here we've got a simple statement and then a four with our compound statement here. And you can see it prints out the factorials. However, if we try putting this p multiplied by i, on a different line to this, but the same line as this, then we get a syntax error. So what we can do is instead, is instead of using this indent, we have our single statement separated by a semicolon. And this means that this part is now valid. So actually, you can use semicolons in Python and to great effect. The only thing is, they're really bad practice, and so people are discouraged uh, from using them because it looks like 
also you don't know Python because they're very rare. But they can be used, and for example here, this is a lot easier than trying to print a new line in a tab. So it does have its uses. So you can see the semicolons do exist in Python. They can be useful. And hopefully you won't use them in your code. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again same time next week. Till then.